So guys, welcome back to Stranded Deep. I've been really busy in this game lately. It might not look it because I haven't really begun construction on a base yet, but in between harvesting the things that I need and collecting all the items, it's been around three to four days. So I think the first thing that I should do is just go from this side across and just show you all what I've collected and anything that I might have changed. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you all is this. I wanted to make a dock or something that resembled a dock because as you guys can see in the background, I've made the raft a lot bigger. And when you guys weren't watching when I was off screen trying to collect stuff, anytime I got next to a shark, and it's not just a great white shark, the tiger sharks can do it as well. My raft just kept flipping and it was the biggest pain in the world. I'd have to go back for the raft. Well, first I'd have to swim to the closest island to get to safety again, look and see what my options were go and grab the raft, drag it back, and then flip it over again. And I was getting sick of it. So I decided to search all the way through the comments of what you guys had been saying about this. Now, I was going to leave it to later on until we had more resources and time. But I just decided, look, they're just relentless. I've been studying for like 20 seconds, and they're here already. And he's just waiting to flip this, which he can. At least as far as I know, look, you can see he's trying to, but he just nudges a little bit. But this design is all thanks to you guys. I mean, some people did say that I could use other stuff as the basic foundation without putting a floor on it. But I thought, seeing as though I went with the rubber theme or the tire theme, I'd go and try and find them. And that's what took the longest, trying to find the tires. There's actually some barrels over there which I wanted to use, but I can't get them. So yeah, this is pretty much what I ended up with. Just look at the size of it. It's a super size raft. I might even go bigger with it as well. What do you guys think? Should I just go stupidly big with this raft? If you're wondering why there's two sails on it as well, I don't know. In my mind, it just worked. And I, don't, I think it kind of looks cool too. But I did place this here for a reminder, which has just reminded me anyway about the sails. So, I mean, I'll show you guys how this all works. So we got the steps, we got the platform, which is designed to be the dock. We got the lashing, which would kind of tie the raft from drifting away. We've got this because we're just about to put an engine on this thing. Now, I haven't tested it since I've extended it out. The only time I did test it was when it was roughly around, I want to say, is it this line or this one? It was one of them, and the shark could definitely still flip it, but I don't think it can anymore. I think if I make these ends here wider, I think it'll give it a little bit more stability as well, because the narrower it is, the easier it is to flip. But okay, that's enough talking from me. I want to try and make the engine. Yeah, that's what we're going to do first. So you can see everything that I've got here, like the fishing spears, the wood crates in case I need any more, which I probably am going to need to. So I'm going to need to take one of them. And then around this way, there's nothing changed too much over this side, just more resources that I've been working on collecting. If you're wondering what this is, this was an accident. I actually wanted to use this for the raft, but I misclicked and then I kind of turned it into a windshield to kind of block the wind from taking the fire away. Oh, which reminds me as well. If you guys haven't already checked out the Trello for Stranded Deep, you should definitely go over there. I was just about to tell you all what it is they're working on with the concept designs, but you know what? Go to the description, click the link for the Trello, and take a look for yourself. Some of the tools and stuff that they're making and other things and other designs that they've got planned, this game is going to go through some big changes pretty soon. And not to mention, co-op is definitely still in the works, so that could be pretty cool. All right, so we've got more tools some more resources and look like, you guys can see this the shelter that i made for the crates it's just pretty much overflowing and then we have the bricks this was by far the part of the playing the game which took up most of the time like i was just going to make an episode where i was just chatting to you guys but i don't really think anyone just wants to see an episode of me just hacking away at the at the clay deposits and trying to get these things it's just repetitive and for me i wouldn't want to see something like that so i decided to go and do it and this is where i've got to not as many bricks as i would like but definitely enough to at least get something started on a base i'm going to build the base off this if it's going to let me because i don't know how the brick definitely works but i'm going to take you guys inside so we've got the tarps in this one i'm pretty much full on most of the boxes at least it was last time i know this one yeah the lashing has completely gone I mean, that's just pretty much from the raft. Some food. Still got the baked beans. Food with some coconuts and food. Nothing. Okay, so I need to fill those up. Meds, I'm 1000% sure I don't need any more of. This is one thing I'm positive of. Look, we've got this. Same in this one. I think, yes, yeah, same in this one. 
and then vitamins. Nothing in the bottom one. I am okay for meds. I think this one just has miscellaneous. We've got some cloth. What's that doing in there? Anything else in this one? All right. I need ideas for what I can place in this. Maybe another food rack? I don't know. Tools. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys too. I think the label maker was fixed. I think when they upgrade, upgraded the uh, or updated the game into the stable version, I think they made some changes to the label maker because as you can see, the names are sticking now. So if anyone's got a cool name for the raft, leave it in the comments and I'll definitely pick it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Whoever comes up with the coolest name for the raft and if you guys want me to make it bigger, I will. I'm going to pin that comment and that's what we're going to call it in the next episode. All right, engine parts. All right, this is what I wanted to get into. I should. Where did I leave that duct tape? I should have everything to make the engine. Building, rafts, propulsion. Okay, lashing. I think I have some of that over there. All right, let's just pick everything up. Propeller, fuel tank, carb. Engine. Is that everything? I think it is. You'd think I'd know the amount of times I've made an engine in this game. But yeah, I've been terrified that the devs, in between me collecting stuff, like I've been trying to do it as fast as possible in between trying to fix PC problems, which you guys have probably heard of by now. Like my audio has been broken for like the last three days, which I don't really want to talk about because it drove me insane. I don't think you guys want to hear about it. But in between that, I've been terrified that the devs were going to update the experimental version again, you know, playing around with stuff. So I've been trying to get this done as quickly as possible. All right, so, wait, I need the hammer. And then go to building, rafts, propulsion. And there we go. We've got everything. So now, oh, wait. Is this too close to the... Oh, shit. It's too close. All right, we've got to bring this bitch out. Oh, you can see. You can see the weight of this. It's not the same as the other rafts. And I really like that about Stranded Deep. Depending on how you build it will completely change the stability of the raft. You know, it, c it can be lopsided too. Like, if you put so much weight on one side, the raft can kind of be lopsided over to the side with the weight. I like that. It's a good mechanic to have in a game like this. All right, that should be more than enough. I don't know. See, I remember doing this in the old version of the game. Old version of the game. Ooh. ooh. I think that thing looks like a fat shark. Did it change the way the sharks look? It looked a lot fatter than it used to. Alright. So, engine. Wait. Why are you doing it that way? It should be... Any sharks? Oh, let's just go for it. Wait, what's going on? There. Okay, now we have the engine. Alright, look at that thing. I'm pretty sure this thing, if we build it any bigger, it's going to need like three or four engines. I don't know how we would connect that. I did say that a while ago, though. Like, having a couple of engines on this and then maybe connect them all. Connect the uh, throttle to some kind of, maybe, cordage or something. I think that could be pretty cool. All right, let me double check I've got everything. Because I do want to head out. Or do I want to build up first? No, daylight. I want to head out. I want to head out and use as much daylight as possible. That noise. So, what I want to do is throw a couple of foundations down. Now, I did learn from my mistakes with this one because I had to put that stupid roof on it. But I think... I think we might just have enough to maybe throw some walls down too. I don't know why I just threw the, the hammer down, but we're going to pick it back up. All right, pick this back up. So I don't know how I'm going to do this because the brick works really funny in the game. I mean, I know it's a new implementation, but it kind of works like steel. I mean, in terms of how expensive it is and what you can and can't put with it. So, all right, let's just see what we can do. I don't, I think these are in the way. Building, foundation, brick. Can you go there? Of course not, because I placed all of this in the way. Pick all this up. I want to remind you guys as well, like, I have been streaming every single Sunday over on Twitch. I still get messages from you guys asking where the streams are and stuff, which is understandable. Obviously, I know a lot of you guys probably knew or you don't really get a chance to see me in the streams. I wanted to remind you all, though, that I do stream and have been streaming perfect every single Sunday for the last four weeks around 5 p.m. GMT over on Twitch. And there's a lot of you guys over there, and I do recognize the friendly faces that come back, and it's actually really cool. Play a, ver a, a, a variety of different games. Words are hard sometimes. 
but we do play a variety of different games and uh, quite recently as well I've bought like three or four new games that I want to try out on stream so hopefully I'll get a chance to check those out alright that's not looking too bad but I think I'm gonna have to knock that wall through maybe put a door there to have this one for just coming in from the outside and then one there but where am I gonna move that to hmm see there's a reason guys why I never do this on camera because it becomes a bit of a pain when I rethink stuff all right let's just throw down another foundation now I ideally want to get like four of these down how's that gonna work though it's, it's gonna come out here so I'm pretty sure I can't go backwards with it look it's gonna clip into the land maybe I could go one more across that way Okay guys, so we're back, and as you can see, it's now 10 to 7. The sun has just come up over the horizon, so how we doing? Alright, we could use some breakfast. Put these on yesterday, so hopefully they still taste good. How we looking? Alright, we'll just take one more. And we're full? Okay, perfect. But I did decide to sleep on it with the designs. I didn't want to build anything, just rush into building something for the sake of it, because as I keep mentioning, this stuff is really expensive, and I really want this to look good. Like, could you imagine, I've said it before, but could you imagine if the developers do implement a way to be rescued, and then if, if they come in, they see us living in luxury with a brick house? It, I might as well just tell them to go away. Because this is like, this is paradise, once I get this done. So I decided not to build anything. But I did knock this wall through. So I think I'm going to turn this into maybe a toilet or something. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it and see what I can come up with. But I think I'm going to make something over this side too. Maybe a bigger storage unit or maybe behind it if I can do that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So for now, I'm going to drop these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't believe just how expensive this stuff is. But again, it's definitely to real life because it would take a long time. All right, what time is it now? All right, half past seven. So I think what we should do, I'll think about doing now, is heading over to an island. Now, there are some small islands just over there, which lead to this bigger one, which I have been to, but there's a bigger one and another bigger one over there, which I really want to check out. So that's what we're going to do, and we get to play on the raft, which I did leave in the ocean yesterday. That was pretty stupid. Because I would have gone through all that effort for it to just drift away. Good job that thing's heavy, and good job I made it pretty long. All right, what we're gonna need to take? Let me just grab one of these. Do I need the picks? I don't think I need the picks. Not for now, anyway. I mean, after this episode, I'm gonna get back to harvesting clay again. Do I need the hammer? Not really, I don't need that. I'm gonna leave the stick here. So, what's the durability on this 17%? You guys can see, like, I'm, the reason why I'm harvesting all, or collecting all these tools and stuff is because I'm just going through them. All right. All right, we should be good. We should be good. Fingers crossed. So I want to take another one of these. And now it's time to set sail. And this is going to be the first voyage of... Oh, we don't have a name for it yet. I need you guys to come up with that. All right, place you down there. You can try all you want, Shark, but you're not going to flip this. All right. Look how cool that looks. I could probably squeeze another one in. But I don't want them to just, you know, glitch out and just fly all over the place, because then I have to get them again. Or is that long enough? Actually, it doesn't look long enough. Alright, let's just get going. So, the first voyage of whatever the name you guys come up with. Oh, it actually moves pretty well. I think it's maybe because I made it in a straight line, maybe? Okay, so far, so good. Like, I'll show you guys where we've come from. That big island just in the distance, that's our island. I checked this one out, I think I've already been to it, so there was nothing on the shipwrecks at that one. But this is holding up really well. You can see, look, the crates, they are gyrating a little bit, but they're staying in place. It's working. 
for the first time in Stranded Deep, it's working. Nothing's trying to break the game. I mean, now I've said that, it's probably going to happen, but... All right, what have we got in this shipwreck? Where's that shark? To be honest with you guys, that music's pretty much been non-stop since I've been playing today, so I don't know if it's maybe a glitch or something. I don't have a rebreather anymore either. What I'm going to try and do as well is while I'm underwater, I'm going to try and not speak, almost like I'm holding my breath. So, here we go. <gasps> Oh, we made it oh my god i want to know how many of you guys held your breath when i did that then if you didn't try it it's possible because i did all right let me throw this back right let's see if we can look you see that you see that little like nudge that's what the sharks do and it didn't do anything to the raft oh we can put three on it all right what do we get oh some more tools oh, that's the best kind of tools too the refined stuff and duct tape all right perfect picked all this up as well Put you in there, you in there. More medical. Okay, that was a pretty good find. I know there's probably more stuff down there. Do we want to give it another go? Is there, a, like, a top deck to this? Yeah, there is. Where's the shark? Okay, here we go. We almost failed miserably there, guys. You guys saw how close that shark got. All right, let me move this back. All right, if anything goes wrong with the crates, it's going to be my fault because I'm just going to throw them off the raft. Go back. Place you down. God, I love this design. <gasps> I had to say it. Are all the crates here? I don't know what the hell just happened, but it almost looked like we got pulled under then. Is it because the raft is on that? Wait, which one did we pick up? It was this one. All right, I'm gonna make a little bit more room because I don't need any more fishing spears. I told you guys, whenever I speak about glitches and stuff, it always happens. Where did the shark go? Okay, I'm not complaining. I don't like how the back of the raft is in the water like this. I'm just asking for something to come up behind me and bite me something. All right, this is going to be where the problems lie, turning this bitch around. Okay, so the world's biggest three-point turn and we finally got round. Not joking, guys, that took me like five full minutes to do. All right, I'm getting off the raft because I didn't like what just happened then with that weird glitch. Where's the shot? You see how that's... Popping down at the... I need to add more weight to the front. That's kind of cool. We saw the shark glide underneath it. All right. What can we collect from this one? That thing's fast. You guys ready to hold your breath again? Here we go. Three, two, one. up holy crap i don't know why but i kept holding my breath even when i got out of the water then that's so weird it changes everything like when you hold your breath with the character going underwater it makes it so much more intense all right why is i think we got everything from that then if there was anything else i really don't care for it i can always come back so let me get back on the raft get up all right i want to go over to that big island over there i don't really recognize it I mean, what I say by that is I know this area pretty well for, like, collecting food and stuff and any of the supplies that I've been collecting materials-wise. I don't like how the back of the raft is doing that. I'm definitely going to have to add some weight to the front. I wanted to keep it, like, two prongs, like it is. I don't know the name of the ship. Is it a catamaran? 
but I think they have that kind of style. But it's not really working with the weight distribution for this raft, so... What was that? So I'm gonna have to add some more weight to the front of this. If there's any driftwood on this island, I might just go ahead and do it now. But so far, so good. I mean, we've been collecting crates. We're looking really good with this thing too. I mean, it's definitely serving its purpose, so... I mean, I can't complain too much. I'm just trying to point out that we've got holes to fill. Okay, so we made it to the island, and this is what's causing the problem. This is why the back of the raft is sinking. There's more weight towards the back than the front. So I need to change that balance, but I really like the look of it. Look at that. It looks so cool with the, like, the two prongs at the front. I don't know. All right, let's take a look at this island. Actually, what was in this crate? Another refined hammer. Okay, I'll definitely take that. All right, you can stay here for now. What time is it? Damn, it's three o'clock. I don't think we're going to make it back before night time. I really don't want to do what I did off camera. I wasn't going to tell you guys this, but I 1000% got lost. There's driftwood. All right, we got one there. Let me break this up. I may as well tell you guys while I'm breaking this up. While I was trying to look for some more tarps, because I did have an idea originally for the dock, I wanted to put tarps all the way around it so you could only see the raft from one side. I might still do that, but while I was looking for them, I went further out than I'd been before, and that was when the raft was smaller too. And I got completely lost, because you can imagine, like, it goes from nighttime to, nighttime to daytime really quick in this game. And I just got completely turned around. Oh, this is where we've been before! Oh, wait, was this our starter island? Or have I just been here before and made camp? Wait, no, this is... Yeah, this is our starter island. I'm so happy we found it. I mean, it's crap because we've got no resources, but that's cool to know. That's why I didn't recognize it then, because I'm looking at the back of the island. And I went from that way and then found ours over there. That's really cool. What time is it? Okay, four o'clock. Yeah, I don't think I want to risk going back till then. All right, so, I mean, I've got plenty of resources that I can use for lashing and stuff. I've got the driftwood that I can hopefully weigh down the front of the raft with. So I think I'm going to experiment with that a little bit. But like I say, guys, let me know if you want me to make this thing bigger. I mean, I can just increase it, like, width and length as well. And then one of you guys can come up with a really cool name for it, and we'll definitely make sure we pin it in the comments. If you guys vote the best name as well, I'll make sure I pin it in the comments, and we'll call it that in the next episode. Now, just before we end the episode, I briefly wanted to mention something. If you guys hadn't noticed, I now have a Patreon. And I wanted to quickly say thank you very much to everyone who's gone over to the Patreon and supported me and gone above and beyond. It means more to me, guys, than you'll ever know. So thank you so much. I am working on rewards for you guys. Obviously, I'm working on different things, which I'm keeping in contact with you guys about. And if you guys didn't know about the Patreon, links will be in the description. If you don't know where it is, it's basically just another support system for creators over on places like YouTube when everything's going a little bit crazy at the minute. So... I think for now, guys, I am going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.